Who are you? What do you want? Oh, okay. Who are you? Who are you? What will be? Oh, okay. Bye bye. Hey, wait, where's my. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh shit! Oh, no, no, ah. Oh, Chuck, did you see that girl again? You know, the one with the, you know, she, uh, whoa. She, she put the... Go away, please. Bob! Back off. Oh, shit, Bob's off. Morpheus? Shit! No way! No way! Shit! I've been watching you, Neo, and I want to meet you. I don't know if you're ready to see what I want to show you, but unfortunately, we've run out of time. They're coming for you, Neo. Who's they? Stand up and see for yourself. What? Now? Yes, now. Do it slowly. The elevator. Holy fucking shit! I told the FBI that kid was my nephew. I don't think that's why they're here. Why have they come for me then? Man? I'm not sure. But if you don't want to find out, you better get out of there. How? I can guide you out, but you have to do exactly as I say. The office at the end of the hall is empty. Leave your cubicle, turn left. Left. The office, got it. Left, Neil. Neil, left. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Shit. As you can see, we've had our eye on you for some time now, Mr. Anderson. Seems that you have been living a double life. In one life, you were Thomas A. Anderson, software writer for a respectable software company. You have a social... Social security number, you pay your taxes on time, and you help your landlady carry out her garbage. Also says here that twice a week you visit a place known as the Tool Shed. Is that a hardware store or something? Ah, uh, yes. 
Hard. Where? Hardware. I'm going to be as forthcoming as I can be, Mr. Anderson. You are here because we need your help. More punch? Uh, yes, please. We know that you have been contacted by a certain individual, a man who calls himself more. That was, that was my shoes. My, uh, shoes made that noisy sound. Whatever you think you know about my this man, man is irrelevant to the fact that he is wanted for more acts of terrorism than any other man in the world. Whoa. It's gold. Gold. It is obvious that you're an intelligent man, Mr. Anderson, and that you are interested in the future. That is why I believe that you are ready to put your past mistakes behind you and get on with your life. And we are willing to wipe the slate clean to give you a fresh start. And all that we are asking for in return is your cooperation in bringing a known terrorist to justice. Well, you know, that sounds like a great deal. I've got a better one. How about I give you the finger? And you can cram that file. Up your ass! You disappoint me, Mr. Anderson. Oh, yeah? You can't scare me with this Gestapo crap. I know my rights. I want my phone call. And tell me, Mr. Anderson, what good is a phone call if you are unable to speak? Trinity. Oh shit, no way. No way. Yeah. Cypher? V Cypher? Oh shit. No way. No way. Shit. Where are you taking me? To the land of Oz, sweetheart. Really? Listen to me, Neo. You're going to have to trust us. 
Okay. Siphon of stale. We think you're bugged. Stale. No! No way! Oh, get it off me! Get it off! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> hey, it's over. We got it. What's that smell? Oh. Oh! Trinity! <laughs> <laughs> you stink! <laughs> yeah, open the window. Because you, not me, it's you that stinks. I don't know. Bye. 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer, you take one down and then you've got 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. At last, finally we meet. Welcome, Neo. Whoa, just like Michael Jackson. Huh? As you no doubt have already guessed, I am Morpheus. It's an honor. The honor's all mine. What's that smell? Oh, uh, Trinity, she, uh, stepped in a shit. Man, uh, oh, please, sit. I imagine right now you must be feeling a bit like Alice tumbling down the rabbit hole. Oh yeah, a rabbit's hole. <laughs> you're quite a handsome young lad, aren't you? Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you have a gift. What gift? I've been watching you, Neil. And from what I've seen, you're pretty adept to using a computer. Not just as a tool, but as an extension of yourself. Tell me about some of the programs you've written. That, that I've written? Yes. Oh, I, I wrote this program. There's this girl. And when you press the space bar, she takes the top off. <laughs> what about mainframe viruses? You ever used any of those? Corporation hack applications? System despoilers? Well, anyway. You're here, and that's all that matters. Now bear with me, Neil. We are trained in this world to accept only what is rational and logical. As children, we do not separate the possible from the impossible. That's why the younger a mind is, the harder it is to free. Well, free from what? The Matrix. Do you want to know what that is, Neil? The Matrix is everywhere. It's all around us. Here, even in this room, you can see it out that window, you can see it on the television. It is the world that's been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. Unfortunately, you cannot be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. Wow. This is your last chance, Neo. After this, there's no going back. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up at home in your bed, and you believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. You will soon awake in a world unlike you've ever known before, but don't worry, we'll be there to get you. The older and more advanced minds tend to have problems accepting what you're about to experience. Wow. Man. I don't think we're gonna have any problems with that. <laughs> Rabbit's hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Oh, God. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Where am I? Oh, it's millions of people. All in pods. Filled with pink, jelly, slimy stuff. 
It's like that movie was that one with the uh, had the millions of people in it. You mean the, the the pods with the stuff in the pods? It's like that, I, I guess. What's the robots everywhere? Look like bugs. Oh, here comes one. Hey, <laughs> hey, little guy. Hi. Uh, me, Neo. You. I can't understand what you're saying. Uh, you're just a big, like, robot spider, aren't you? Yeah, uh, big as a small house, so really I, yeah, house spider robot thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! Well, why'd you do that? That's, that, that's not nice. You know, I didn't do anything. What's with you guys? What, what's with all these tubes and this pod? Oh, hang on. Oh my. Oh my god, I... I got a tube in my ass! Oh! Mom? Welcome to the real world. I had a tube up my ass. <laughs> this is a Nebuchadnezzar. It's a hovercraft. The computers on board were used to hack into the mainframe of the Matrix. What year is it? Well, you think it's the year 1999, when in actual fact it's more like 2199. Whoa, 21 years in the future? You've got like those hoverboards that Michael J. Fox has got? They're cool. Um, we're supposed to load some basic operations first, but uh, that's some boring shit. Uh, why don't we try something a little bit more fun? Combat training. Jiu-Jitsu? I'm gonna learn Jiu-Jitsu? No way. Get ready, Dorothy, because Kansas just went by. Right here. Ready for more? Hell yes. Hell yes. How is he? Ten hours straight. He's like a machine. I know origami. Show me! <laughs> this is a sparring program. Similar to the program reality of the Matrix. This is where I will teach you how to fight agents. Neo! You must concentrate! Attack me, bitch! Oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 
うわ That is just a warm up. Welcome to phase two. Take! Load up the Matrix. I'm taking Neo in to see the Oracle. You know, I know this McMuffin isn't real. And I know that when I put it in my mouth, the Matrix is telling my brain that it's juicy and delicious. After nine years, you know what I've come to realize? Ignorance is bliss. So we have a deal then, Mr. Reagan? I don't want to remember nothing, see? I don't remember not a single thing. Oh, hang on, I got you some animal cookies. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I was saying. I want to be rich. I don't know what that is. I want to be a pardon. A hamburger or something. And most of all, if you can get my body back into the Matrix, I'll give you what you want. The access codes to Zion. Well, now I don't have that. But uh, I can get you the guy who does. Morpheus. It's evil. Oh, Agent Jones went and got that uh, pogo stick you asked for. Got it over there for you. Pogo stick? Uh huh. Uh, you mean my prostitute? Oh. <laughs> Ark lives here? How old is she? These stairs are nice. I... Uh, Morpheus, he's holding it. Oh, she's been with us since the beginning. The beginning of what? The Resistance. And she knows everything? She would say she does. What did she tell you? That I would find the one. She's never wrong. Try not to think of it in terms of right or wrong, Neil. She's a guide. She will help you find the path. Like the yellow brick road. It's like the yellow brick road, isn't it? Am I right? I'm right, aren't I? The Oracle's a witch, isn't she? She's no, a witch. Neil. You're not coming? I told you. I can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. You have to open it first. Hello, Neo. You're right on time. The Oracle will see you soon. These are the other potentials. Take a seat. Spoon boy. Oh. You try. You mean like? Then the spoon? Okay. Remember the truth. There is no spoon. There is no spoon. All right.
What have you got here? Color book. Oh, may I? Oh, oh he's got green eyes. <laughs> okay. Neo, the Oracle will see you now. You don't have to tell me anything, Neo. What was said in there was for you, and you will... Shutting down the Matrix is going to be the easy part, but unfortunately, to get to that stage, you are going to have to face your toughest opponents. Nazis! Agents, Neo. Sentient programs. They can move in and out of any software still hardwired to the Matrix. But unfortunately, anybody we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. What are you doing? You said they could be Asians. Agents, Neo. Agents. Oh. Agents are the strongest things in existence. They're guarding all the doors, they're holding all the keys. Which means that sooner or later, somebody's gonna have to fight them. Well, hey, Morpheus, can we stop for some big shakes? I won't lie to you, Neo. Anybody who has faced an agent has failed. Their failings is where you'll succeed. You are stronger than the Neo. You are the one. Do you feel it inside you? Oh, yeah, sure. Good. But be very wary of them, because when we're inside the Matrix, they can strike at any time. Oh, don't worry, Morpheus. I'm a Kung Fu machine. Yeah! <laughs> Shit. We have Morpheus. The stupid one is here also. Okay, bring him in and bring me back some too, okay? Shit! No way! You're coming with me. Look over there! Have you ever stood and stared at it, Morpheus? marveled at its beauty, its genius. Billions of people just living out their lives oblivious. Once we're finished with you, we will have full access to Zion. Your precious little city will be no more. You will never get Zion. Silence! <sighs> future is our world, Morpheus. The future is our time. Hmm, it's a good punch. You ever watched the Roseanne show, Morpheus? I mention this because there was an episode where DJ had Roseanne tied up in the basement. She wouldn't let him go to a party, you see, so I just find this a bit relevant because if you look at it in our situation, you are Roseanne, and I am DJ. Also in that episode, Dan supercharged his power more, but that's a bit incidental to what we're... Got to look more happy, Morpheus. Smile a bit more, you know, turn that frown upside down. Okay, Morpheus. Look at this, look at this, look, it's my thumb, right? See my thumb? Ooh, it's not joined at the... Habit of Limerick, you are... Once was a man named Enos who had a very big... The serum will take another hour before we can begin. Okay, then, yeah. Uh, let's go out and get something to eat. Morpheus, can we get you anything? Is that a yes or a no? Would you 
pick you up a quarter pound of meal for you, you know, with a hot apple pie. Go and fuck yourself. Fine. Someone won't be getting their hot apple pie then. We have to pull the plug. No. We, we don't have any other choice. Trinity, what are you doing? I'm going in after him. What? The, the building they've got him in is military controlled. That's suicide. Yeah, maybe it is. But we don't have a choice. Where are you going? You're gonna need help. I'm going with you. No, you're not. Morpheus sacrificed himself so that you could escape. There is no way you're going back in there. Morpheus did what he did because he believed I'm something that I'm not. What? I'm not the one, Trinity. Oracle told me. Well, that comes as a big fucking surprise. What? Um, gee, I, I said I, I, I like apple pie. Oh, yeah. They're cool. Lotus in tank. We're gonna need guns. Lots of guns. Guns are cool. <laughs> Everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Fuck you. Oh. I'll get a uh, small fries would be nice. Oh, muffins. I'm not sure you're a blueberry muffins. Uh, and what do they, do they have blueberries in them? They have blueberries in them. Yeah. yeah, give me one of those as well. Do you know how to drive that thing? Not yet. Operator? Tank, I need an operations program for a 83 Suzuki Swift. I will find that. Let's go, man. Morpheus, we got you. You're hot. There. I mean, it's Swedish. It's it's got an AM radio too.
What happened? Agent Smith was deceived by the stupid one. I had my doubts before, but after that, there is no question. Do you believe it now, Trinity? Yeah, do you believe it now, Trin? I am the one. Yeah, the one. Yeah. You first, Morpheus. Oh, oh yeah. Morpheus was right, you know. It doesn't matter what he believes, or even what the Oracle believes. What matters is what you believe. Well, I believe, Trin. I am the one. The one. Your... Your hair. You've got... you've got pretty hair. Don't touch me. Okay. Quickly, read all. Oh, shit. It's got the hair. In you. But you, you have pretty hair, Trin. Mr. Anderson. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's he doing? He's starting to believe. Guys, he's all lubed up. He's just gonna have a gangbang with a lion and the tin man. What? Look over there! <laughs> He's starting to believe? Hey, who wants uh, ginger snaps? Where am I going? Get me down George Street! We need to get you to Bayview Park. Approaching Harbor Walk. No way. Uh. Dang. Good 
goodbye, Mr. Anderson. Look out! Behind you! Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Did I make it? No. Hey guys, I was in the bathroom, what I miss? Oh. Only human. Think he's dead? I'm not afraid anymore, Neo. The Oracle told me that I would fall in love and that that man, the man that I loved, would be the one. So you see, you can't be dead. You can't be because I love you. Do you hear me? I love you. Move out of the way, Trinity. Neo, I'm not afraid anymore. The Oracle told me that I would fall in love. And that one, that man, you'll be the one. So you see, Neo, you can't be dead. You can't be. Because I love you. I love you, Neo. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Now get up. I know you're out there, working 
as fast as you can to catch me. But you're afraid. I know you're proud of the world you've built, but I've got some bad news. I've decided to make a few changes. When I hang up this phone, I'm going to show people what you don't want them to see. The truth. And if you don't like that, well, you can. Your smell, yeah?